Hello, Xavier here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the new trailer that came out yesterday on September 4, 2019. And basically, we got some new Pokemon reveals and some new mysterious ones that I'm going to be talking about. So let's check it out. Alright, so let's start with Cramorant. He is a flying water type and he has an ability called Gulp Missile. So basically when he uses Surf or Dive, he has this fish, these, this new Pokemon. I suspect, I suspect it's a new Pokemon on its uh, beak and basically it shoots it at you and you take damage. Uh, so I don't know how it's going to be used competitively, but it's actually a pretty cool a a idea. So he is classified as the Gulp Pokemon, and I'm going to read his description. When it comes to food, it will try to swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Sometimes it will swallow things that aren't its intended prey, spitting in the mouth in a hurry once it realizes it's a mistake. Permanent can be forgetful, but it will never forget a trainer it grows to trust. However, it seems that even trainers will face fierce attacks from the Cramorants if they try to steal its food. So, so there you have it. Uh, now let's talk more about the other fish uh, Pokemon here. And um, so far we don't know much about it, but here's an image of it. And then here's a, another image of it uh, from the official Pokemon website that I found. And it gives you a closer look to what it looks like. Now, could this be a new Pokemon? I believe it could because if they just wanted to make an ability where he shoots a fish at you, they could have just added a random silhouette. Um, but they've added detail to it and they've even given it a face, you know, eyes and mouth and all that. So they gave it character. So I'm guessing this is a new Pokemon. Now, could there be different variations of the fish uh, when it spits it out? Maybe. Maybe we'll see other fish Pokemon that we know, Remoraid or anything like that. But this unnamed fish Pokemon uh, may be a new Pokemon. Now, let's go from Cramorant to Poltegeist. Now, Poltegeist is a really cool idea. I like it. Um, ghost type Pokemon. It's known as the Black Tea Pokemon. Now, its ability is Weak Armor, which we already know what it does. You get hit, your defense goes down, but your speed increases. Well, it depends on generation. It may change on this generation as well. Now, the description reads, Poltegeist's body is made from Black Tea and is said to have a very distinct aroma and flavor. It will only allow a trainer trust to sample its tea. However, drinking too much can lead to indigestion or an upset stomach, so be careful. Many Pulte guys make their homes inside hotels and restaurants, disguising themselves and hiding among the tableware. They can pour their power into the leftover tea and create even more of their kind, so they're treated as pests. Now, <laughs> these are some really cool stuff. That means uh, they're not going to be as rare as we think they are, maybe. Uh, maybe they're going to be common, but not too common. So, like, in between both common and rare. Uh, I wonder if we're going to be having a haunted house. I don't know if we are, but that would be really cool. Now, moving on to, I want to say, a new Pokemon, but there has been a new update on one of them, and that is Alkirmi has been verified to have several different appearances uh, changing its color as well as its fruit decoration so it has over 20 variants and here's the image right now so that's a good amount of variations I doubt anything's gonna change no typing no no ability change but I guess this gives a variation kind of like you had Vivillon with all the different variations nothing changed just design wise so I think it's going to be the same case with El Creamy, which is really interesting for those that want to actually use the Pokemon in battle and stuff like that. This, uh, I don't know if this will change the design of the Gigantamax form, but if it does, that's a lot of variation right there. I doubt it will though, uh, so we'll just have to see and find out. Now, last but not least, we have the unnamed and mysterious spiky Pokemon that appears in the docks in Nessa's hometown. Basically, the water gym area. And I honestly don't know what they are, uh, but they look very interesting. 
it looks like it could be a fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, maybe a rock or dark ghost type Pokemon. Maybe. Uh, it looks like a rocky spiky thing with some weird looking arms. Maybe a rock and dark. But again, this... I, I can't really tell you what it is because I don't know what it is. It's just uh, I'm bringing it out there since it's already out. So uh, yeah, but that's it. Everything for this video. And it was just going through all the several Pokemon for the trailers from Direct and then the official trailer that they released after that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more of my videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And make sure to click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, don't forget to check out these channels down here as well as this series right here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.